Hello and welcome to Gearock Farms. In today's video, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for evening chores. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is we got a lot of new viewers and uh, I wanted to show them guys some of the routine here on the dairy farm. And then for those of you who have been around for a while watching all the videos, this will be a bit of a comparison for you guys. If you watch the seven day series that I put together of uh, a week on the farm, so then you guys can compare what it was like when uh, it was the middle of winter versus uh, this early to mid spring here. It's, it's very warm out. Uh, all day I was wearing a t-shirt and then uh, the sun went over the hill so it chilled back down again. But I'm gonna start off here in the calf barn and our bull barn there. All I gotta do is uh, push up hay. So this should go pretty quick. And this is the only cow we have in the maternity pen. It's kind of slow now when it comes to cows that are supposed to calve. If you watch this winter's videos, you know that it was uh, getting to be quite a nursery around here. Everybody looks happy in here. Everybody's up and eating. They all already got their grain. So we're gonna go over and do the same in the bull barn. All the cattle in the bull barn are happy. That uh, is probably the fullest it gets throughout an entire year because uh, we're just on the brink of grazing season. And uh, once the grass is fit and the pasture is ready to go, um, a lot of those heifers and dry cows are gonna get sent up to our, uh, our back 40 where we got a large pasture back there and they'll spend most of the summer there. So uh, we got those two barns taken care of. Now let's uh, start taking care of the dairy barn. All we gotta do is uh, feed the silage, the grain, and uh, scrape up a little in here. Get everybody fed and ready for milking. Wake everybody up from their afternoon nap. Let this little blue roan outside. We only have three switch cows, which was a lot less than this winter. Main reason why is my daddy sold a bunch of cows once we had a bunch of cows come in this winter. And, um, you know, just kind of picked and choose who were the best and dried a couple cows up. I think it's gonna go pretty smooth tonight. We don't have a lot of extra work to do like we would if uh, we had 10 switch cows and it was cold and snowy out here have to clean up all the time and nope should be pretty smooth tonight now we gotta move this other walkway cow get her tied up and out of the way All right, so I cleaned the manger, got it all ready to go for feeding. 
And uh, a good analogy is it's like uh, doing the dishes. We clean off their uh, dinner plate, which in this case, it's that manger liner, that PVC material. And we do that for sure twice a day before feedings. So that gives them a nice clean plate. And then we, we sweep back all the good stuff against the wall, all the junkier stuff that they pick through. We, uh, we take to our heifers over in that bull barn. It's still good feed. It's just, we try to keep our higher quality stuff in front of the dairy cows and, and clean up all the old junk as, as much as possible so that they can uh, stay happy and healthy as possible. Not that, that our heifers aren't, they're just, you know, they're like teenagers. They'll eat uh, a lot more junk food than somebody a lot older would. So and then next we're gonna feed the grain and then we're gonna feed the silage. So I uh, finished feeding up. Everybody seems happy and content. Can't complain. Now soon here, as summer approaches, we'll start feeding out of our silo. We'll be done using this, this dump trailer. And man, that job's a lot easier when you're not bundled up in three, four layers of clothes trying to stay warm. That's a plus. It's probably only 50 degrees or so. But if some of you are wondering where the rest of my family is, I'm relief milking for them tonight. They all went to the FFA banquet in town. My uh, brothers, they're working at it. They're uh, helping put it on. And then my parents went there to help support them and uh, the other members of the FFA. So hopefully they all have a good time. So that's why I'm milking tonight. So next I'm gonna go uh, get the milk cows ready. We started using a new teat dip. I think it's pretty much the exact same as the other one we were using. It's just a, a different brand and uh, it's dyed a different color, but I think it has the same uh, materials in it. A little different, but our somatic cell stayed the same, so can't complain. I'm gonna clean up in the barn. I gotta go grab some more towels and then uh, we'll start milking.
So we got all six units on. We got everything rolling. Milk should be back to the milk house right now. I'm gonna check on it, make sure nothing's leaking. Everything's going smooth so far. It's for sure spring weather. It got kind of chilly. I had to put my sweatshirt back on. Got the barn wide open. Plenty of fresh air out here. I think the cows know that uh, pretty soon they're gonna be out on grass. I think by the time this video goes out, they'll already be grazing. So that's exciting. So I'm starting off with six units. I think once I get rolling here and maybe switch around those three cows, uh, then I'll I'll throw a seventh one on too to pick up speed and and get done at a decent time. I'll check back in with you guys later on. So I have finished milking. We got 43 cows that are fed, milked, and happy and content. I got the wash going, and now I gotta go feed our calves that are still on milk quick here. Then I gotta run back here and uh, switch around the wash. Sorry I didn't film a whole lot while I was milking. It's kind of hard to do that when uh, there's just one guy milking. Um, you, you stay pretty busy moving along. There really isn't a whole lot of time to stop and pull out the camera, so. So we only got four calves. It's a lot easier than uh, what we had to deal with this winter, that's for sure. It just happened to work out that way where cows got bred at a certain time and a lot more came in during that January, February, and early March time. The calves are healthy right now. That's a good thing too. You know, normally in the spring of the year when it's wet and cold and then it gets warm for a day and then it gets wet and cold again, there's a lot of opportunity for uh, calves to get sick. but. Everybody's been healthy so far and uh, nothing to complain about there. But we're gonna grab these pails from these guys. They're probably just about done drinking. And uh, then we're gonna go switch the units around for the wash. All right, we got them units switched around in the wash. Now we'll uh, clean up the pails that we just used. We got the last couple units doing their thing in the wash cycle. We're gonna push up hay on both sides so they uh, they got plenty to eat overnight. Then we'll go back and shut the wash off. So that is it for evening chores. It went really well. All that's really left to do is to scrape up in here and fluff up the bedding and then go check the other buildings, especially that uh, cow in the maternity pen. But I'm gonna end off the video. Thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out our other videos. We'll see you next time.